Good morning. Today I'm going to be making some brisket tacos. So I'm going to get a brisket smoking. It's a small brisket, so I'm just going to make tacos out of it and, and smoke it for about eight hours. I've got uh, everything set out here. My butcher's paper, my twine, the brisket, cutting board, knife. And these are the seasonings I'm going to use for brisket tacos. I'm not using my original dry rub blend because it's, again, for tacos. Just garlic, salt, cumin, turmeric, fajita seasoning, onion powder, and meat tenderizer. That's all the seasoning I will use for this meat. And I kind of show you a little tip. I rinse my cutting board off and then I drizzle the water off the cutting board onto the counter and lay a piece of paper towel. That way it doesn't slide real easy. So that when I open this up to trim the fat off and do the dry rub, it's not sliding around everywhere. I'll then wrap it in the butcher's paper and toss it on about eight hours. I want to do it at about 185 degrees for that eight hours. After that, I'll take it off and shred it up like pulled pork. I'll take a knife and fork or two forks and just rip it apart into shreds. That way it will lay down into the taco shells. And uh, yeah, my kids love tacos. <laughs> I do too. So that's what we're doing today is we're making some brisket tacos. I hope you enjoy uh, the video. It's short. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. If you ever want to try these seasonings for your meat, for taco meat, it works pretty good. Um, I'm not going to share my dry rub seasoning. I've been working on it for about 30 years. But this one I don't mind sharing because it's simple. It's not expensive. It's not something I've been working on for years. Just what I use for the tacos. Now when you get, when I get this open, you know, I'll dry it off with paper towel to dry up the blood. I'll cut off, trim off all the excess fat. You want as little fat on the outside as this as you could possibly get. You can see that there's a line of it across the bottom and then there's this hard chunk here. You want your meat to look like the end product before you start smoking it. So trim as much of that fat off as you want. Some people like more, some people like less. Me, I will trim as much of it off on the outside as I can and leave what's on the inner part for marbling and then wrap it in that butcher's paper. Now I do sometimes spray it halfway through the smoke about four or five hours in I'll take it off take it out of the butcher's paper and I'll spray it with an apple cider vinegar water 50 50 mixture. This will help it keep from drying out. You want your meat moist and just falling apart. It, it works rather well for me uh, temperature is key. You want to be between 180 and 200. You don't really want to go above that. You don't want the temperature to go up and down and fluctuate a lot. You want a steady temperature. You also want to get your grill going to the point that there's not a lot of dark, thick smoke. Uh, the more white and gray and darker the smoke is, the more of a smoke flavor it will have. And it can have too much. My family doesn't like a real strong smoky flavor, but they, they love smoked meats. Um, me, I prefer a strong smoky flavor. But the butcher's will really, really help with that. Um, that first initial smoke, it will keep it from getting all that flavor in it. And by the time you get it partway smoked, then it's it's already got that out of its system. And yeah it's try it it's all i can say keep your temperature between again the 180 200 mark keep your top flue open keep that fire in the box because you want an actual fire if you don't have fire you have more smoke and it's it's it just it does something different to the meat but that's my smoking tips today we're gonna get started have a good day 